Hello Sagittarius, this is your mid-December 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Sagittarius individuals, but I am hoping that will reach the majority of you. Sagittarius, mid-December 2018, five card spread. Sagittarius, mid-December 2018, five card spread. Hope your December has been going well. That's what the income energies are. Divide these up. Oops. The devil. This is, could be the income and energy. Uh, the meaning of this card is obsessions, addictions, being chained to a situation. That is the income and energy. We'll see what else it can bring. Let's see what else the cards say. In the past, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. The Ace of Cups in reverse is like not having a passionate offer, not really a passionate offer, but a loving offer, emotional offer, was not given or not received in the past. We'll go clarify that. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Why are you there for Sagittarius at the past? Someone is unable to move on from a troubled situation. They're feeling still sad. They can't seem to move on. They can't seem to put themselves out in the dating world, possibly, or just show people their emotions. They 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 just they're just not ready. Who really put themselves out there? Can I get another card for the Ace of Cups and the Six of Swords in reverse in the past for Sagittarius? Yeah, something ended. It's got you where you're thinking, pondering what to do. And you're not really willing to take new offers just yet because you're still it still hurts. Whatever ended in the past still kind of hurts, whether you or the other person or both. Someone is really hurt over it. You know, they're just not ready to accept new offers, like I said. They're still thinking about the ending. The obstacle, you think that was the obstacle? The Knight of Swords in reverse. Now, the Knight of Swords in reverse can be an air sign or someone taking on an energy. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Can I get another card for the Knight of Swords in reverse? Yeah, they are an obstacle. Yeah, you felt like you had no luck with this person, and it was a waste of time, it was a misfortune, or they may be feeling this way towards you, but it is an obstacle. Can I get another card for the Knight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune? In, both in reverse as the obstacle. Chariot. In reverse, didn't move forward, didn't work out. They also could be a little chaotic when I get these cards in reverse like this all together. Hmm, it's interesting. Current environment, the moon in reverse, something came out, no longer hidden. Things no longer, I won't put that like that because it fell out kind of sideways. Moved too slow. They weren't reliable. Something wasn't reliable. The moon came, the moon in reverse is things no longer hidden, kept secret. Can I get another card for the moon in reverse? The Hierophant, broken relationship broken contracts, things that didn't work out that were supposed to you know, have been promised to work out. You didn't have a death to death do you part in this situation. Also, like I said, sometimes it's just a contract that did not come out or did not work out because maybe something negative you found out about the situation or the person or the relationship. Or for some of you, someone may have, very few of you, someone may have but found out something about you. Can I get another card from the moon and the Hierophant in reverse and a Knight of Pentacles that fell out earlier? Page of Wands. This is a message 
of some sort, most likely. The message was of short-tempered, a message that maybe you didn't want to hear or they didn't want to hear. It also could have some fire energy. Someone could be a fire sign also, sun, moon, rise, and it doesn't matter. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be you. Maybe you're, you're, maybe you were refusing to give a message, or the message was very angry, short-tempered. Outside environment, what is coming towards you, could have a lot to do with this Queen of Disc. She is in reverse. This Queen of Disc could be an Earth element or someone taking on that energy. Could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They are in reverse. They are not feeling stable. You do not look at you don't look at them as stable. You don't look at them as a friend. They don't feel real friendly towards you. Queen of Disc in reverse. Why are you there for Sagittarius mid December? There was no give and take, that's for sure. Six of Pentacles in reverse. There was no give and take. There was no charity. There was no love. There was no giving at all. It's the outside environment. They should have walked away, but they didn't. Mm -mm -mm. Final outcome for mid-December. Hope. You still have hope for something. Maybe your hope is for elsewhere. Maybe you have a wish it's a wishing card in a way. It's like I'm wishing upon a star. This person is looking towards the future, looking towards better things possibly. The star card. Why are you the outcome for Sagittarius? It's a good card. It's getting a little worried. Yeah, I think you're going to not just accept any offers. This is someone who is given something, an emotional offer, you may say, I don't like what you have to offer me. I'm not accepting what you're giving me. Try to do better. You're hoping for better things with the star card. There's another wish card. Because you got wishes, you got things you're going to want to come in. Remember, you can manifest these if you want to. Your wishes. So, for Sagittarius, you need to wish upon a star. You need to start manifesting and believing in it. And going for it. Whatever happened here that didn't work out, the ending, and you weren't you're not ready to accept these new offers has to do with the Knight of Swords. You felt like an unfortunate situation happened. It just didn't happen. It just didn't move forward. Something came out, possibly split up a relationship. Words were said. Things didn't move along as stably as you wanted. The outside influence, but they also call coming towards you. But it's outside influence. It's the queen of discs, like I said. She's not real stable. She's not the best of friends with you, or she's not happy with you right now. That could be it, too. There's no give and take. And she should have walked away, or they should have walked away. And it could be that, like I said, they did something to you, or you did something to them. It will be different for everybody. In the end, there's a wish, and there's a hope. And you're just not going to accept anything that's negative because that uh, Four of Cups is there. But I see two very good wish cards. So make a wish, Sagittarius, and make it well and, and go with it. Let me give one more card for that. Maybe it'll give us more solid information, a wish. Star card, Nine of, nine of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Why are you there as the outcome for Sagittarius? Why? Why is that there? Victory. You know, you're going for a victory. You're no longer going to feel trapped. You're going for a victory. With the Six of Wands. Whatever didn't work out. It's gone is gone. What's done is done. Something of a wish is coming towards you. Like I said, you're coming out of feeling trapped. That's the Eight of Swords in reverse. You want this card in reverse. Remember, all, 
Not all reversals are bad. People say that all the time. They don't know their cards. At least, that's the way I always interpret the Eight of Swords. It always worked that way out in my life. And some others that I've read for. Eight of Swords, breaking free. No longer feeling trapped, getting a wish, making a wish, possibly getting it. A victory. You're, that's what you're looking for anyway. If you want to manifest it, do it. Go for it. Go for your wishes. See you later, Sagittarius. That is your mid-December reading, and I will be back hopefully before January to give you your January reading. Bye.